special report now from the flood affected areas of Assam. Three states in the northeast are currently battling floods. Assam, Arunachal Pradesh and Manipur. Assam is the worst affected with 45 people dead. An estimated 15 lakh people are affected across 24 districts. The Brahmaputra is still flowing above danger level. Ratnadeep brings you this report. We are inside Kaziranga National Park and you can see Assam Chief Minister Sarvanan Sonwal inspecting the flood devastation inside Kaziranga National Park. You can see the entire park submerged with flood waters. In fact, 80% of Kaziranga National Park is submerged in flood waters. 36 highlands were supposed to be made in the <laughs> national park before monsoon uh, was supposed to hit, but only 50% of the work was completed and that's why uh, most of the animals have started to stray outside the national park. In fact, 25 of them have died due to drowning and being hit by vehicles while they were trying to cross the national highway to reach higher grounds. Do you feel that there has been a bit of lacking in terms of the state government in flood management? No, there is a sort of time, uh, uh, but uh, we are like, you know, still looking forward to develop many more highlands. Uh, so, like, so that like, you know, during the flood, the animal get uh, shelter to stay. As you know, government of India has decided to dress the river Brahmaputra right from Sadia to Dhubri. That dredging uh, will definitely help us to minimize the flood and erosion. We have got enough fun. We, we have the capacity to tackle the issue right now because whatever support is required from the center, they have been extended to us. They are giving all possible support to us. Ratnadi speaking exclusively to the Assam Chief Minister. But why exactly is it that crores of rupees spent by the state and the centre are washed away every year? Let's just look at Morigaon. That's one of the worst hit districts. And in one village here, people are working tirelessly to save an embankment made just last year. A desperate fight to save their homes. These men are working day and night trying to stop the Brahmaputra River. If this embankment breaches, their homes and at least a hundred villages in Assam's Morigaon will be washed away. <laughs> This part of Assam is a highly flood-prone area. This year, the situation is even worse. The Brahmaputra has drifted four kilometers inland. For years, the government has tried to prevent flooding. The last effort, an embankment in 2015, cost 15 crores. But in 2016, that washed away. This year, the district administration wants 20 crores to build what they claim will be a stronger structure and better protection. However, they have got just nine crores and work began just before monsoon. In the same proposal, we had the item of uh, constructing a sparse also. The sparse have been deleted due to the cost uh, factor. Due to not, uh, construct, not constructing the spar, uh, the present embankment is treated. It may Earlier this week, the chief minister paid a surprise visit. But with officials admitting that there are no guaranteed solutions, what is certain is that crores of rupees are being washed away every year. But nothing seems to be changing in Assam's flood hit areas. These villagers are working on a war footing, trying to save an embankment which is fast eroding due to high flood waters in the Brahmaputra. The river is also dangerously changing its course. Perhaps this is high time for the state government to keep its promise of dredging the river. Until then, this fight of human versus nature would continue. In Lahori Ghat with Sanjay Chakravarti, Ratandip Chaudhary for NDTV.